How am I gonna get this finished for Amy before the 745 carpool? If only Mom hadn't stopped by last night. I know she's lonely since Dad died, so what could I do? Well, I guess I'll just be late to work again. I thought you had a meeting. Sherry Phillips. Oh, Sherry. Thank goodness you're there. Hi, Michelle. I don't know what I'd done if you'd already gone to lunch. It'll only take a couple of minutes. Psst. Greg came home really mad last night. He said the meanest thing to me. I'd had a bad day and I was just so upset. I. Oh, well, let me tell you about my day and my week. Of course, you don't care because you never ask. Oh, I'm sorry, Lord. That we're not. And I knew something was wrong this morning because when I made him his breakfast, he didn't say goodbye and he left me. At least I try not to run again. Let's see what happens. I just, I just, I want to yell at him, but I, I don't know, I don't know how to tell him the things that I feel because he just blows up. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm praying for you. Yeah. I'll call you tonight. Bye. Hello, Sherry Phillips. Yeah, Sherry, Dan here. Uh, your phone's been busy forever. Listen, uh, I know you're swamped, but I really need you to go over these proofs by tomorrow. Client wants to meet at 8 o'clock. Uh, you can make it, can't you? Yeah, okay. Thanks, knew I could count on you. Hello? Sherry, I am in deep water. Margie was going to be the activities coordinator at the retreat, and she's now just canceled. She says she's just overloaded. Anyway, can you take over for I don't her? know, Phyllis. The weekend of the 20th? We were planning a family getaway that weekend. Not for me. That's the weekend of the concert. Yeah, and I have soccer. I'll be happy to help. Oh, thank you. Just send whatever Margie's done, and I'll get working on it. What's the theme, anyway? Oh, it's great. You'll love it. The joy of sacrifice. Great. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Hello, I'm Dr. Henry Cloud, and I talk to people like Sherry all the time. Sherry is trying to live her life the right way. She's trying to do a good job with her marriage, her children, her job, all of her relationships, and her Lord. Yet it's obvious that something isn't right. Life isn't working. Whether you're a man or a woman, you can undoubtedly identify with Sherry's helplessness, her confusion, her guilt, and especially her sense that her life is out of control. Sherry suffers from severe difficulties in taking ownership of her life. She isn't able to draw and maintain boundaries around what is hers, boundaries that would help keep out what isn't hers.